What's up with that shirt? You look like you're about to perform on Dancing with the Stars. Remember, I'm taking Lindsay out tonight. Does your shirt know that? What is wrong with my shirt? What? I couldn't hear you over that shirt. <laughs> okay, Nick. So what's the occasion? I'm taking Lindsay out to give her an idea of how she should be treated when she goes out on dates. Huh. I can't fight it. I might as well prepare her for it. Where is Lindsay, anyway? Making him wait. So far, so good. She's at the mall with her girlfriends. Hey, Mom. Hmm? I don't have any underwear for tomorrow. So what do you want me to do? I don't know, but I can't walk around without any drawers on. Who does that? <laughs> <coughs> Kevin, don't you have some in your dresser? No, you didn't do the wash yet. Kevin, Kingston Persons, it is not my job in life to wash your dirty drawers. In fact, you know what? You're 12, so today you're going to learn to clean your own laundry. I knew I should have turned them inside out. What's up with your shirt? What's up with your drawers? Hey, everyone. Hi. Hi. Hi, Hi Dad. Hey. What's up with the shirt? You didn't remember we were going out? And you were going to wear that? I thought it was nice. It is. It's just a little, you know, young. I am young. Not young enough for that shirt. When you bought it, was Chris Hansen waiting for you? <laughs> Dad, can we do it some other time? Oh, canceling at the last minute. She's pretty good at this. Why? When I was at the mall, I met a little crunk E. He is incredible. I was just eating at Applebee's, and him and his boy approached me and invited me to his party tonight. Who taking a better offer? Who is schooling you? You go, girl. You go, girl. Don't you have some place to be? Oh, yeah, damn. <laughs> You know, it's just that I got mesmerized by that shirt. <laughs> My shirt. <laughs> so, Lindsay, where is this party that you want to go to at the last minute with two total strangers? It's at 11.17. It's at a convenience store? It's a teen club. It's just like a real club, but without the alcohol. It's so much cooler than these stupid school dances. Can I go, Mom, Dad, please? Well, it's fine with me, but your father's gonna go with you. Mom! Or you can stay home. Okay, I'll go. But, Dad, can you no, change... No, I'm not changing my shirt. I love my dragons. <laughs> washing my clothes, not everyone else's. These are your clothes. They are? Yes, which is why I don't understand how you run out of clean underwear. You have enough for two weeks. You haven't washed clothes in two weeks? Excuse you. I'm sorry. Oh, and check behind the hamper for your socks. How'd you know there were socks behind the hamper? Because there are always socks behind the hamper. Somebody needs to work on his jump shot. <laughs> Are you colorblind? Does that look like a bright color to you? No. Okay, so take it out. <laughs> colors go with colors, darks go with darks, whites go with whites. Man, laundry is racist. Laundry is not racist. If you mix the white with colors, the colors can bleed. Sounds like Texas. I didn't know all this went into washing. It's a lot of work. Yeah, I know you didn't know because you kids just sit around here doing nothing while you wait for me to do everything. That's not true. I do a lot of things while I'm waiting for you to do stuff. Boy, grab these clothes and put them in the washer. Okay, now do exactly what I say and nothing else. Do exactly what you say and nothing else. Got it. Pour the detergent into the washing machine. Dump in the detergent. Now add the fabric softener. This makes the clothes smell good. Define good. Just pour. Boring. All right, close the lid. Bright colors need to be washed in warm water. Warm. Check. That was a medium-sized load, so turn the water level to medium. Medium. Check. Now grab the big knob and turn it to colors for 12 minutes. Colors for 12 minutes. Check. Pull it out. OK, that's it. So what do we do now? We don't do anything. You're still doing laundry. I'm going upstairs to watch my show. Call me when they're done. Boy, go sit down! Wow. I cannot believe we're here. This is 
so cool. Are you sure this is a club for teenagers? You can't tell me all these people in here are 17. Well, they are. Otherwise, you can't get in. Damn, I sure. Hey, man, can I step that line for a second? Uh, I want to grab a sweater from my car. Why not moving? Yo, man, what, what is the holdup? I have to do a head count, man. But once E gets in, I'll think about letting you in. This is ridiculous. If we'd have gone to dinner, I'd be eating your dessert by now. Oh my God! E! E! Yo, E, who you got with you, man? Oh, you know, playing my usual crew. It's all gravy, baby. Go ahead. E, remember me? Applebee's, right? Right! <laughs> Come on, you and me. Applebee's. <laughs> <laughs> hey, old, old schooler, where you going? Oh, well, no, no, look, look, yo, I'm with her. We're together. That's my daughter. I saw well and good, but 1117 has a strict no adults policy unless you register. Did you register, sir? Look, I don't know anything about that. All I know is that is my daughter, and I need to keep an eye on her. How do you be a real father of the year? Maybe you should spend less time shopping and more time being a parent. It's a nice shirt, though. Now step off. Not in, off. Excuse me. If it's not the man with the dragon tattoo, ain't your chest hot? If you are through making fun of my shirt, for your information, I'm trying to be a good father. Help me out here. Bruh, my hands are tied. We have to protect the kids. How do I know if you are who you say you are? I am Nick Kingston Persons. My daughter is Lindsay Kingston Persons. I don't know that, man. Hey, man, you gotta step to the side. You got people trying to have a good time. Your negativity is just ruining the vibe. Hey, Mark, man. Oh, Mark? One love. Oh, no doubt. Nick, what are you doing here? Are you going in? Nope. The girl's a little too old for him. Lindsay's in 1117. I would be in there with her, but I didn't know about the registration policy. Where are you going? 2260. What's that? Well, you know, at 1117, you have to be in the 11th grade or under the age of 17. Is that what that means? Yeah. At 2260, the girls are all older than 22 with IQs under 60. <laughs> what? See? Isn't it adorable? <laughs> After you, ladies. Oh, uh, tell Dateline I said, hey. Is there a Nick Kingston persons out here? Yo, oh, hey, that's me. Your daughter wanted me to come out here and get you. He's cool. He's with E, management clearance, so everything's straight. All right. Mm. Different now, ain't it? <laughs> Enter the dragon. Ah, no offense, but we can't have that shirt in the VIP booth. Hogwarts is over there. I appreciate that. No problem. Lindsay! Dad, you got in! What are you doing? He asked me to get some drinks for the crew. Drinks? Have you lost your mind? Dad, calm down. It's just juice. Well, don't call it drinks. Juice quenches your thirst. Drinks get you drunk. <laughs> yo, yo, bounce. It's Applebee's right there. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think me and my girl can get a picture? You want to take a photo with me? No, not you, with E. Aren't you his bodyguard? Do I look like his bodyguard to you? Duh, yeah. <laughs> hey, can you get me and my girl on the list for tomorrow's party? Did you email us? Yeah. Did we email you back? No. Thanks for playing our game. Bye. Hey, we Pick him up. Yeah. Another drink, bro? No, let me see what's up with this. Y'all ain't fooling nobody. Look, I was a teenager before. I know the game. I'm hip to the whole thing. Oh, that's good. What's in this? Sparkling water and pineapple juice. No, I detect the hint of pear juice. Dad, I gotta drop this. Okay, but when you finish, we gotta go. Not yet. It's still early. Yo, Friday's. Be right back. It's Applebee's. Right. Before I forget, he, he 
you wanted me to get your number, you can put it in my phone. Here you go. Cool, cool. All right, we'll be back. Hey, hold up. Go. But, Dad, they said they'll be right back. Lindsay, they left. Can we go? you to do last night before you went to bed? You said, take the clothes out of the washer and put them in the dryer. I did that. You didn't turn it on. You said, do exactly what you say, and you didn't tell me to turn it on. How come you just don't turn it on right now? Because they've been sitting in there all night, and they're starting to smell like mold. If you dry them like that, you will cook the bad smell in. So what do I have to do? You have to wash them again. Wash them again. After the clothes are done washing. After they're done. You're gonna put them into the dryer. Put them in the dryer. Then you're gonna turn the knob. Turn the knob. To 45 minutes. 45 minutes. Turn the dryer on. Turn it on. Then when the clothes are finished. Then when they're finished. You're gonna take them out of the dryer. Take them out the dryer. Fold them. Fold them. And put them in the basket. And put them in the basket. Okay? Okay. Okay. Right. So. Wait, what now? animal how was the club it was amazing i had the best time really so what happened we sat inside the vip section we were balling <laughs> balling i don't know how she was so impressed with that boy he didn't even know her name the whole night he kept calling her applebee's applebee's yes remember they met at applebee's at least they didn't meet at athlete's foot <laughs> Only one night, and it's over, and she had a good time. And you and I, we don't have to deal with little crunk E again anytime soon. Oh, my God. I just got a text message from E to come to his birthday party tonight. I'm on the VIP list. I get the passcode. Can I go? Yes. Yay! We're gonna be bonus! <laughs> I know you told your mom you had a good time at that party last night, but I didn't. That guy was a jerk. I thought he was disrespecting you. And I don't think you should go to his birthday party. Dad, you weren't supposed to have a good time because it's for teenagers. And he wasn't disrespecting me. We were kicking it. Kicking it? He left with two other girls and didn't come back. He got my number before he left. No, he didn't. His boy did. Same thing. Why would you hang out with a boy who treats girls like this? Dad, look, I know you think guys should call and open doors and stuff, but it's not the 90s anymore. He invited me to his birthday party, and I really want to go. I mean, you act like I'm in love with the guy or something. I'm just trying to have a good time. It's OK. Are you sure? I'm sure I'm sure. All right, fine. We'll go. Can I pick your shirt? Can I pick your clothes? OK. Hey. Oh. I had a talk with Lindsay. You know, I know you don't always feel like it, and I don't always tell you, but you are a wonderful father. Mm -hmm. I wonder. Boy, you better get dressed. <laughs> oh, another night with Eve. <laughs> Hey, um, have you seen my dragon pants? Is that a basket of folded clean clothes fresh out of the dryer? Yep, I did, just like you told me. Hmm. 
Mmm, they smell good. Kevin, what happened? These clothes are covered in bleach spots. Oh, yep, I was wondering what that was. These clothes are completely ruined. Did you put bleach in the wash? No, I did everything that you told me to. <laughs> you never wanted to learn how to do this in the first place. You know what? You should have just said, Mom, I'm never going to do my wash. No matter how hard you try and try and try, it's never going to happen. So either you have to wash my clothes or just let them stay dirty forever. You could have just said that. I could have just said it. Why didn't you tell me that before? I would have said it a long time ago. I know what you want me to do. You want me to buy you new clothes. Well, you know what? It ain't gonna happen. You will wear these clothes for the rest of your life, bleach spots and all. I don't care. You wear these clothes until you burst out of them like the Incredible Hulk. You will wear them walking around the airport looking like Nick Nolte. You could be a movie star and wear these clothes walking down the red carpet like Gary Busey. I don't care. Who's Gary Busey? I thought you were on the VIP list. I am. Come on. Excuse me. Old school. Shoot again, man. I almost didn't recognize you with a regular shirt on. You work at this club, too? Nah, man, I just come down here for some practice. Plus, I wanted to see if the other shirt was an accident. Look, bro, my daughter's on the VIP list for E's birthday party. Do we have to wait in this line? Do you have a secret VIP code? Yep, popping bottles. Why don't you say that, man? Popping bottles. <laughs> That's the popping bottle line right there. That line's longer than this line. Yeah, I know. That's the VIP line. What's this line? The short line. Hey, Gigi. Looking good. I know. Gigi. Nick, what are you guys doing here? Lindsay's on the VIP list for E's birthday party. VIP. You go, girl. What are you doing here? Oh, there's a video release party next door. For who? I don't know. <laughs> I don't care. There's an open bar and a gift bag. Now, you give me free drinks and some presents. I'll go to a silk clubbing. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> bye, Sebastian. Hey, bye, baby. <laughs> I can't believe this. E! See you inside. Hey, hey, yo, little man. Why are you grabbing, Green Mouth? You remember my daughter from last night? He invited her to this party. He texted me. He said he put me on the VIP list for his birthday party, and the doorman wants us to go to the back of the line. Oh, uh, no, no, that wasn't E. That was me. That's what I do. I send, like, a couple blasts a day. And you probably sent that same text to, like, a thousand people. But I bought him a birthday card. Can you at least give it to him? Ah, it's, it's, it's not even his real birthday. That's, that's, we do this every other night. I don't even know when his real birthday is. <laughs> Listen, y'all seem like cool people, so I gotta be real with you. I, I dig you coming down here, keeping an eye on your daughter, and you handling yours. I'm a father, too. <laughs> that's real, though. You don't want her up in there. I mean, she's not like these girls right here. You know, a lot of these girls are here because they don't have daddies. Because if they did, they wouldn't be here. You know? Y'all go ahead, my bad. Okay, Lindsay. Um, if you want to wait in line, we can wait in line. If you want to go, we can go. I want to go. Hey, old school. Here you go, man. Tiger shirt Tuesdays. No line, man. Come on back on me. Hey, Mom. Hi. I finished my whites. Thank you. Kevin, you don't have to keep wearing those clothes. I realized that I was the one who put the bleach in the washing machine before you put the smelly clothes in. I'll buy you some new stuff. No, it's okay. I like these clothes. You're cool. But could you teach me how to iron? So you can burn my house down? I don't think so. <laughs> have the fire department over here bursting in the door, making all kind of noise and mess, and then have the neighbors come out asking, what's going on? Oh, Kevin Kingston Persons, he burned down the house. Well, how did that happen? His mama let him iron unsupervised. Well, what kind of mother is she? I don't know. Maybe we should call Child Protective Services and see what's going on over there. Maybe there's some kind of abuse. Start checking my babies for marks. That just ain't gonna happen. <laughs> 
Lindsay, when you try to be down with people who don't care about you, you're setting yourself up. You teach people how to treat you. When you let that boy call you out your name, you knew he didn't have to respect you. I hope you see that. I do. Ruby Tuesday. You want a hand? No. And my name is Lindsay. Right. Right. Lindsay. It's a very nice name. I like that. Don't go anywhere. Another brand new Are We There Yet starts right now on TBS.